geocache too. Yeah. Don't park like that. That guy's an asshole. All right, more exciting stuff from the vacation. So there's this thing Carrie and I do called geocaching. Now geocaching is like this little adventure. People hide things in like really cool areas in nature and then your goal is to go find it. So the geocache, you have a GPS, it has to do with an app and then you just go and find it. And then when you find it, you take something out of the treasure thing and then you put something back in it. And then you sign a log to see who's all been there. How close are we here? No, no. It says it's like 51 feet. This okay. I have a funny feeling it's in here. Where could it be? Where could it be? Do you really think adults would do it? I don't know, but I don't do a lot of things I'm supposed to do anyways. But here's why I like it. The treasures kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie. But it's the idea of exploring nature. Geocaches always take you to some place you've never been and find some really cool thing in nature that wasn't that you would have never seen unless you were trying to find this cache. Yeah. <laughs> Geocache three. Coming up. Coming up. Oh. I'm six feet away. Okay, it says I'm two feet away. Struggling to find it. Oh, going down, going down, come on, Woo! reach in, care. Nope. I had to do that last time. Open her up. Ooh, what's this? These bubbles? Hoot hoot. Flip flops are a bad choice. <laughs> Whoa, <geez. laughs> you made it. Oh, God. The sketchiest part about the geocaching was there was one next to this pool. It looks a little suspicious when two adults walk in, there's a bunch of kids swimming around, and they start looking under things and in bushes. They just got farther away. Turn around. When you geocache, they're called muggles. <laughs> We're getting lots of weird looks. Soul that's outside of the fence. Terry's soul that's inside the fence. I'm gonna go look. Like any good parent. What are you guys doing? Why are you looking around? What are you going through all your stuff for? To lose something? Can I help find it? Do you wanna leave? 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 I feel uncomfortable. Hey, we're doing this thing called geocaches, and I pretty much just explain everything I just told you. Oh my god, that sounds awesome! Where do you find it? What are the riddles? What are the clues? What are the apps? We we found one today. But they said, this one's in a small container. Before I knew it, I had like an army of little kids helping us try and find this cache. That's the only hint they gave us. So it floats. That's the hint. No geocache yet. I'm in the middle of nowhere. So I found this ball. So it took us a while to find this one. These kids were gung-ho helping us all the way. Kind of neat, right? Where did you guys find it at? It's under a rock. I told this kid I was filming this because I make these YouTube videos. And he has a YouTube channel too, which he didn't give me, but I said I'd give him a shout out and put him in this video. And so this is the army of kids who helped us discover the geocache. This is the app, by the way. This is all the geocaches around my house right now. And they all take you to really extravagant, cool places. Carrie, we're in the middle of nowhere. and shit here. You found it? Go get it. I really don't want to go like that. Yeah! You found it. Do not keep me. I am Travel Bug. Help me travel from cash to cash. Visit groundspeak.com to learn about me and how to help me in my next travel. Sweet. We shall take you, little guy. We had access to like 10 pools, and my goal is to swim in every single one.
moment we arrived, there was these beavers on golf courses. Beavers in your trees. Okay, they weren't in the trees because beavers, I don't know, if beavers climb trees, so I don't want any beaver hate. But there were beavers everywhere, and we just assumed there were beavers because there was a restaurant called Beavers. After about five days of seeing like a million little beaver things running, we're like, God, there's a lot of beavers in the Lake of the Ozarks. Harry was like, they don't have like those tails that I think beavers have. They can't be beavers. Find out they are whistle pigs. What's a whistle pig, mind you? A whistle pig is also known as a woodchuck. Ooh. Hey, you dang woodchucks! Quit chucking my wood! Whistle pigs are kind of scary. They kind of follow you all over the place. And I finally, I, I couldn't get a good picture of them. Here's the best ones I got. How much wood could a whistle pig chuck if a whistle pig could chuck wood? I'm stupid. And then we ended the epic geocache day with the knowledge of whistle pigs and swimming with sunsets. I never really gave a shit about sunsets for a long time. When I was first learning how to skydive, there's a met, there, I met a skydiver named Jim. Jim um, beat cancer. And every day after every skydive, he would sit on this bench by himself or if someone wanted to join him. And I always, I never understood. I was like, what's so great, man? It's just a sunset. Sunsets happen every day. And, he's just, and he told me that uh, each sunset is uniquely their own. Every moment, that sunset's moment. None are alike, and that's all sunsets are. And he said after he had, uh, after he beat cancer, he realized he never took another sunset for granted. And that's kind of stuck with me ever since that. So f since that little speech he gave me, I have looked at sunsets completely different, and I want to see them every single chance I get now.